So what we are doing till now? Uh, we were simulating a microstrip line. This is your dielectric. This is your microstrip line conductor, and we are using port one to feed our this circuit. And we are we were using a load here. So we were using only port one. So that's why we were getting a S11 response only and we are not getting any two term because port 2 is absent in our case in previous videos and and you might be knowing this uh, values this is a cross section uh, picture uh, this is the W this is the width of your micro strip line and this is the height height of your dielectric and if you rem remember we uh, were using those value uh, during uh, simulating our transmission line and this is your ground plane we need to have a ground plane so this is your ground plane perfect so what we'll do in future in future we'll do something like this our circuit will change definitely it might be get re uh, uh, replaced with a low pass filter or might be a high pass filter or might be a blc so at those things we'll use as uh, port 1 and port 2 and du during those term uh, s21 will be the transmitted value perfect so for example if it is a low pass filter then s2 uh, low, sorry uh, if it is a low pass filter of 4 gigahertz i'm repeating again uh, if it is a low pass filter of 4 gigahertz then your s21 or your transmission coefficient perfect because s21 giving you the uh, sense like what uh, portion of your incident wave is going to port 2 so if it is a 4 gigahertz low pass filter that means your s21 will be high up to 4 gigahertz and after 4 gigahertz it should get after that it should get lowered now to realize the uh, low pass filter perfect so let's calculate S11 manually. What is Z0? Z0 is your characteristic impedance. ZL is your load impedance. And just see this. This could be complex. This could be complex. For our purpose, we were using Z0 as 50. Perfect real. And ZL as 50. For matching purpose, like match load and we were using 90 uh, for unmatch but this could be complex also like 90 plus j 50 90 minus j 60 so it could be complex and your z0 also in few case could be complex but uh, we won't be considering z0 as as complex just for simplicity okay and if you remember your transmission line theory then this is a very basic formula if you can't recognize it, I'll suggest you please go through your transmission lines basic theory once again. And it is it said that your reflection coefficient is equal to ZL. ZL means your load minus your characteristic impedance divided by ZL plus Z0 is equal to reflection coefficient. And we have proved that reflection coefficient is nothing but our S11. So if we want to calculate S11 manually, then we can do those things without using any simulation tool. Keep this thing in your mind and see. For match load, what we have? Yes, we have ZL equal to Z0. So if I put ZL equal to Z0, what you will get? S11 equal to 0. Perfect. And I have ignoring this term in my previous videos, but S11 could be a complex value also because you can see s11 is a i told you in previous slide or here also it is written zl and z0 could be complex so if it is some you are dealing with some complex values then your your s11 could be a complex thing and complex value have the phase term okay but in your previous video we were have getting s11 phase as zero so i just ignore the thing there and uh, why it is coming zero because zl equal to z uh, 50 z not equal to 50 or if it if zl is complex also and z not is also complex because 
for match load these two need to be the same then also they are getting uh, cancelled each other and we are getting s11 magnitude 0 and for all cases we are getting phase s11 uh, 0 degree so let's uh, see uh, are we getting a 0 degree in our simulation okay wait uh, so this wa was our circuit and I, I am uh, telling again and again that uh, for match load I'll get magnitude of S110 degree but for DB purpose it would be minus infinity and we can't get minus infinity in real life so we'll get something very um, uh, like deep in the minus uh, spectrum like minus 150 or something uh, so let's see again just to refresh your mind if you forgotten display we are getting it so let's try with the magnitude so report uh, you just delete the previous one select s11 and select mag here perfect add display and see at 3 gigahertz we are getting s110 coinciding with our theory perfect and uh, it is getting at 3 gigahertz because we have designed our transmission line for 3 gigahertz so that's why we are getting a match at 3 gigahertz let's try to see the uh, phase of S11 also. So go to report, report editor, delete the previous one, S11 and you can see here, I have uh, this highlighted one, this is the angle of S11, uh, edit and display, before displaying it just guess the value, yes right, we need to get a 0 degree uh, angle of S11 at 3 gigahertz, so display and see at 3 gigahertz we are getting zero uh, to see it clearly you can also do one thing uh, right click here select data marker and point here and you can see at 3 gigahertz uh, it is showing something like it is nearby zero i think my data marker is not placed correctly so it is sh showing 1.86 degree but it is close to zero only so we can uh, assume yeah at 3 gigahertz we are getting the phase of s11 zero so we we were doing correctly so for match load we are, we are clear because we have already done it what about the short termination short termination imply your zl equal to zero that means you are directly connecting your transmission line to the ground and if zl equal to zero from this formula you can see we'll get s11 equal to minus one but we will separate it as magnitude and as phase term so s11 magnitude is one and phase of s11 is 180 degree plus minus because both are same i think you can understand okay that's why i'm putting it plus minus 180 degree so we will see it we'll verify our this thing in our next video okay we'll verify this thing are we getting it or not okay third condition open termination open termination means uh, you just kept your port to floating without connecting any termination or without giving it to any other uh, circuits or anywhere so in open termination your zl is infinity because open uh, open you have opened the output port so that means uh, zl has a impedance of infinity perfect so if you put zl here infinity and if you do little manipulation here then you can see our s11 will turn out to be one magnitude will be one and phase will be zero degree and i'll promise you in next video i'll verify these two things and also i'll show you one case of complex termination in my next video thank you and bye bye